Good morning, Science Matters students. Uh, welcome back. I think it's day four. It's Tuesday. Uh, thanks for all the responses we got yesterday on what the Whirly Gig was all about. Uh, I really like the person who thought it was a fly swatter or a uh, pancake flipper, uh, but like a much of you figured out, uh, the proper way to use the Whirly Gig is this. Miss Aurora, are you ready to demonstrate? Okay, so there she is. She's got the Whirly Gig up high, and then go ahead, drop it. Whoops. Try again, Miss Aurora. We can do better than that. Spread the little wings out a little bit better. So yeah, as a lot of you figured out, if you take the whirly gig and spread the wings out and then drop it from up high, it spins around. There you go. It's ready to go. There. That was that. All right. So what I want you to do today then is to become an expert on the whirly gig and figure out... Um, which ways it's going to turn. Miss Aurora, can you bring me the whirly gig? Thanks. So, uh, what we're going to do is you'll figure out is which way does it spin. So, if you're looking at the whirly gig from the top down like this, so this is the top view. So, if you drop it, it goes and spins like that. What? Okay. Um, we want to know is does it spin clockwise or counterclockwise? That's the big question I usually tell students to figure out is which way is it going to spin. So, clockwise would be... Um, that way and counterclockwise would be spinning that way or does it change depending on a bunch of different things so basically just become an expert on the whirly gig and figure out what decides which way it's going to turn another fun thing to do is figure out is this needed down here do you what happens if you change the length of the uh the arms can you make them bigger can you make them smaller etc but like i said the big question for today is just figure out which way the whirly gig turns. If you don't remember how to make the whirly gig, just watch yesterday's video. And uh, yeah, uh, the other thing would be, uh, I've heard from a lot of you today, but please reach out to your friends who may not have uh, checked in yet, just so I can hear from them. Oh, thank you, Miss Aurora. What are you doing back there? Eating your bagel in the background? All right, well, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and we'll talk to you later.